This is my technical analysis prediction, not financial advice. I'm just giving you what I think is happening to the crypto markets. And this could be very helpful to you if you guys are in the crypto trading game. Or it could be something that's just, you know, to keep an eye out on because it influences the wax market and it will also influence the cost of the cards real soon. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys some very quick pointers here. I trade crypto full time. That's why if you look at the back of my screen, there's always a chart going on. Hey Wapaka, thank you for the follow, man. Real appreciate it. So I'm gonna um, give you guys as many as many trading ideas as I could possibly find and hope they'll be very very useful for you. I'm just trying to load my chart here, so give me a moment. A little bit messy, ignore the messiness. So what's happening is we have that critical dump. Like you see crypto had the fake out on the Ethereum, then it went down, right? A lot of people panic sold here way too much than they should have. I was actually uh, calling for a sell around this period. So that period sold pretty good, that was profit. Then I've been slowly accumulating here. I've been buying all over the place. Okay. So my projection long term is this is going to bounce. We're looking for a breakthrough. And it seems like it's going to happen fairly probably within a week. If we're even looking at the Federal Reserve announcements. Let me look at the, uh, the announcement schedule here. January, brand new year, brand new announcement. Everything is brand new here. It, it's gonna be very interesting what's gonna happen. We're going down. Okay, so US job manufacturing openings is gonna come out on eight, eight o'clock Wednesday. So Wednesday is gonna be a big flux of volatility for the cryptos. And then we have the, uh, the FOMC meeting minutes coming up. And we have the non-farm employment and then we have the non-farm payroll so this week is gonna be very volatile for crypto very very volatile this means that it either will break through the ceiling here okay so you'll break through this thick zone and if it does break through we're on a really really far trajectory upward this, this could go up quite far i'm trying to find my drawing tools Okay, so this is thick ceiling right here. If you can break through that ceiling, then we're looking for the following confirmation. You want the you want the pattern to basically go like this. Goes up, hit the blue line, come down, then we are a hundred percent sure we break through. Do I post this on Twitter? No, I don't post this on Twitter. I actually update this regularly on my Discord and I also update this inside my Twitch about page. So if you go to my Twitch about page, which I'm going to go again. Okay, I'm going to show you. In the about section on my panel, you will see my trade thoughts. ETH USD alert. Strong push moments building up on Ethereum for a long-term bullish trend. We're at a confirmation two out of four steps for the trend to take off. Stay tuned for more trade alerts. So right now, I'm not saying this is a good time to go and just bye 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 okay that that's not what i'm saying at all i'm saying is based on the volatility that's coming out especially on friday for non-employment changes employment uh employment claims and non-farm payroll all this u.s numbers is it, gonna influence the u.s dollar significantly it could cause it to be enough jitter that this thing will break through this resistance okay now here's the risk you need to understand what happens if it fails the job numbers may not come out as optimistic as people think and the fed could still be raising interest just like normal with really really bad uh downturn for the market economy which means there's not going to be a lot of people with spare income to go you know invest on cryptos so if it fails to break through that resistance then we're gonna we're gonna retest the new bottom so most likely it's gonna hit this fail okay it go up fail up fail then it goes down okay and if it goes down here and up like that then we're in trouble we, we, we're gonna we might potentially break through this new floor this price is really important 1160 
Now, I do analysis on Ethereum. You can do the same thing on Bitcoin. It's not too different. The general shape is the same. So the two key points are one, two, three, four, and one, one, six, zero. Those are two zones. If it fails to break through either, then you're just gonna continue just channeling inside this. And you can still trade that, but just there's not a lot of profit to be made, right? Then you're mostly trading like a day trader. So I'm personally thinking it's gonna go through. So we'll see. Okay, if you are if, if you're nervous, wait for the confirmation to buy here. If you just wanna go for a trade for fun, then what you can do is on this first contact points do a simple small short okay and once you short to whatever maybe in the mid zone range you can attempt to do a buy here but set a take profit here okay so you basically short cash out short i uh, sorry long cash out so you just basically day trading you're, you're swing trading here so that's the uh, the information i have regarding trading for crypto I'll talk more about that when I see there's more news or more things coming up. London markets has already opened, so there's not much action happening. And the reason is because everyone's nervous. Everyone's waiting for the, the numbers to come out from the United States. 